Hi and this is going to be a quick video on how to make a capacitor discharging tool. You might be familiar with these uh, contraptions here. They are, these are they're called circuit testers screwdrivers and what they are is a conductive tip just right here a high value resistor which is a uh, one meg ohm a neon light bulb and on the top you have this eyelet where you touch it and uh, well what you basically do is you put it on one phase ac it goes through here and when you touch it you are directly connected to the ground and uh, these things have the reputation to be somehow dangerous they're safe if you just plug in in uh, a mains outlet the neon light bulb is gonna light up and you're not gonna get shocked but let's imagine uh, somehow water gets inside for um, many reasons you forget about it and um, the water getting conductive you get zapped or you touch something that is uh, of a higher potential than 230 volts AC from the mains and you can get shocked so I really don't like these, I have multimeters, so I'm going to transform it into a capacitor discharging tool. What I need for that is this, this is a 130k resistor, it's uh, 3 watts, some hookup wire and an alligator clip. And we're going to do everything we need, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this open. I can use some pliers here and it's it's very stiff so it's not uh, well it's at least this one is well made so I'm gonna pop this open using a knife and there we go so there we are we have this uh, cap I'm gonna pop this out we're using a yeah, maybe a nail and a hammer and well, we're gonna have a look at what is inside. So you have this spring that makes conduction, this uh, clip and there we are. It's an, literally, I'm gonna keep this uh, metal cup because I'm gonna need it. And this is the neon light bulb with, uh, yeah, the, the resistor, one mega ohm resistor, I think. I'm not being able to, to see the color codes. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to solder one end of this resistor inside this cap using my soldering iron. So I rolled it up in, on the top of the screwdriver so it will fit perfectly inside this little cup here. I'm going to use some flux so the solder is going to stick to it. And there we are. We have solder here now I'm gonna put some solder inside this cap the flux is gonna help me so I use the generous amount of solder inside here and now I know for a fact that it's gonna be perfectly connected to the tip of the screwdriver but anyways I also trimmed this spring so it will not go through you see on the on the hand it's conical and it goes to the top i trimmed it so it won't be able to go through this tiny hole i also already removed the 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 small contact here and the spring is going to prevent it from rattling and uh, getting sure we have a good contact from this little metallic cup Okay, so here we are. We have soldered the wire to the resistor. Let's hope the spring is gonna get true. Mm -hmm. I doubt it. I'm gonna shorten the, the spring. It's easy to do. It's not very hard metal. Just using, using a wire cutter and there we go. There we are. Mm -hmm. And it goes right in. I'm gonna spread the spring just a little like that. 
and here we are it's gonna be just fine and there we are I put a dab of super glue just to make sure the cap will not fly off it was difficult to remove and uh, the super glue was not even needed because it was uh, very hard to put back together so I guess it's gonna be just fine so you can see here the spring is adding some tension to the contact over here we have the wire coming out and there's no metal contact so you can touch it and now last time last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna solder the alligator clip at the other hand and that's gonna be it and there we are we have the resistor inside the wire and the alligator clip at the other hand so you just connect this to the chassis of your amp and uh, touch the terminals of the capacitors with the tip of the screwdriver and they're gonna discharge by themselves well not by shorting them using this uh, resistor to drain all the capacitors well um, this is a very useful item if you want to troubleshoot amplifiers tube amplifiers and um, that's all I get for you today as always uh, thank you for watching and um, stay tuned for more information and more fun videos about tube amplifiers um, the next video is gonna be about the amplifier I made myself using the parts I uh, salvaged from uh, things that were going to the trash. So the video is um, kind of long. Uh, it took me a few weeks to do this project and it's gonna come up soon. Anyways, thank you for watching and catch you next time. Goodbye.